You know that really annoying, painful twinge that comes about so suddenly when you brush your teeth or when you have a sip of cold water or when you've bitten into ice cream or even when you're walking down the street and minding your own business when this icy air hits your teeth. It's annoying, it's infuriating. And this video is going to be all about why we get sensitive teeth in the first place and how to treat it. Welcome back to this channel. I know I've been gone for a really long time. Also, ignore her. She's just, she's just stealing my thunder right now. Anyway, welcome if you're new. My name is Ellen Shahir. I'm basically going into my fifth year of dental school, hopefully in September. And this channel is basically about tips for better oral hygiene, tips to get into dental school, and also vlogging my way through dental school and just life in general. So you know what to do, hit that subscribe button, it's just down below, and also turn on that bell notification thing so that you can be notified every single time I make a video. So, a lot of people have recently messaged me asking about sensitivity and why it's just come about so suddenly and how they can go about fixing it. So, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today in this video, all things sensitive teeth. Is that really necessary? Is it? I'm trying to make a video here. To understand why we're getting sensitivity in our teeth, we have to go back to the anatomy of our tooth. So here's a tooth. The top part is the crown and the bottom part is the root. Now the crown is the only part of the whole tooth that is covered by enamel. And enamel is that hard, really protective white outer layer of our teeth. And it's literally there to protect our whole tooth. Now underneath that enamel is a layer of dentine. It's a very thick layer all the way to the bottom of the root of dentine. Now dentine, like you can see in this picture, is more yellow and it's a little bit softer than enamel. It's also very porous, like our skin has loads of pores and these pores are openings of these tubes that run all the way from the outside of the dentine all the way to the middle of our tooth which is the pulp. And the pulp is basically where all the blood vessels are and where all the nerves are. It's basically what keeps our tooth alive. Now within these tubes, there is fluid and every single time the fluid moves around, it causes the pulp to be stimulated and it causes a response to be put into our brain and then it basically shoots out that it hurts and it's painful. So that's how we get sensitivity in our teeth. So in a normal situation, people shouldn't really be feeling sensitive because the enamel is there to protect our teeth from exactly that, right? So therefore sensitivity must happen when there is dentine exposed. Now there are a lot of reasons why dentine can be exposed. I'll run through a couple of them. First one is because you've been brushing too hard. Anything that basically wears away your enamel will thin the enamel and may even destroy it completely, leaving dentine to be completely exposed to the outside environment, to that sip of cold water, to that bite of ice cream. So brushing too hard and wearing away your enamel, not brushing well enough or not flossing well enough can lead to plaque buildup. And plaque buildup, like I've discussed before in my previous videos, can lead to gum disease. And once you have gum disease, there's a very high chance of your gums receding, which is basically them pulling away from the crowns of your teeth and exposing root surface and thus dentine. So that's two reasons. The third reason could be because you're having a lot of sugary and acidic things in your diet. Again, all that does is wear away at your enamel. There's a lot of different reasons for wearing away enamel and exposing dentine, okay? So how can we go about fixing it? How can we go about preventing that sensitivity because it's it's a pain let's be real it's a pain first thing you want to do even if you have never experienced sensitivity you can still follow some of these rules first thing is have a good set of oral hygiene habits okay i'll link a couple videos down below my past videos it will show you exactly how to brush your teeth exactly how to floss your teeth okay don't brush too hard brush properly so you're getting rid of all that bacteria and plaque buildup 
and also limit the amount of sugary and acidic things in your diet. If you're struggling with the food aspect of things, then I have a video explaining how you can still have sugary things, but have them in the correct way to prevent any enamel damage. Okay, so check those videos out after this video, obviously. The final thing that is specific to people that have pain from sensitivity is that at night, once you've finished brushing your teeth, you want to go ahead and grab a bit of toothpaste, put it on your finger, and you want to rub it wherever it feels sensitive for you. You want to leave it on overnight and wake up in the morning and just continue with your normal day, brush, have breakfast, etc. The whole point of this is to basically block those pores. If you block those pores, the fluid can't really move around as much, okay? And it doesn't really matter what toothpaste you use. Obviously, if it has potassium nitrate and if it has fluoride in it, the better. But any normal toothpaste at home should really include those, those ingredients anyway. So just use what you have at home, rub it along your sensitive areas and wake up in the morning. It isn't going to be a permanent fix necessarily. Some of my friends have said that the sensitivity has gone, but it's not necessarily going to be a permanent fix. If the pain is persisting, go to the dentist. You may not even have dentine exposure. It could be pain from a completely different reason. For example, tooth decay, or even having a cracked tooth. Lots of different reasons can cause sensitivity, but this video was mainly about dentine hypersensitivity. So, if your toothbrush looks like this, or if your diet is looking a lot like this, then try and cut those out and try and replace that toothbrush head brush a little bit softer, make sure you're brushing properly and the sensitivity should go away with time, especially if you're rubbing some toothpaste in the problematic areas. So that is all for today, you guys. Hope you really enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever you wanna do, just do it. And I will hopefully see you next week.